get a stake for when your life is at stake. Make any vampire quickly retire. An aspen stake for you, sir? Premium wood carved at midnight on the solstice. They're cheap. Vampires? I don't think so. What do you mean? The dead rising at the cemetery? They must be vampires. Vampires are salutors attracted by blood and sizzling passion. There's nothing interesting for them among the dead. It's what people believe that matters. The steaks are exquisite, I must admit. What else do you sell? Holy icons, miraculous Marys, salt. Table salt? Consecrated, but the steaks, I tell you, sir. Ever since they buried the magician, they've been selling like hotcakes. Anyone with some sense buys them. Do you believe in all of this? I believe in money. And if people are willing to buy a stick out of fear, then who am I to argue? This buried magician, is it Shulski? I think so. It makes no difference to me what his name was. For him, stakes are not enough. We need to call the Pope. Don't tell anyone or I'll lose my livelihood. Goodbye. I hope the vampires don't take revenge on you. They have no interest in me. I'm anemic. Hey, please, tell your friends. On Wednesdays, I sell four steaks for the price of two. That wasn't too hard. Hello. Indeed. Fanciable. Up close. I would even say a solid eight, wouldn't you? I don't know. We'll see when he turns around. Eight it is. Will you show us something more? May I ask what you ladies are doing? What everyone does. We're evaluating. A solid eight? You know, on a scale from one to ten, you look quite stiffy, sir. Why are you smoothing with some sucker who's already suited and booted for his own funeral? And you, lousy fop, got an itch in looking for some philandering at the marble orchard, are you? Six, five, Zero, there's nothing here for you. Mr. Eight got some you-know-what, so he caught our eye. And vice versa, I can tell. Get ready for some shellacking, lads. We got a dandy looking for some extra ventilation. And, as luck would have it, not too far from the orchard either. Sir, you have the unique opportunity of becoming a ten.
Yes, sir. My name is Viktor Shulski. Grigory Rasputin said I could find him here. I can sense he's in a drawing room. Intriguing. Is that him? In the flesh. Allow me to introduce you. My dear hostess, Aniela Narodzinska, and my dear friend, Viktor Shulski. Your father had a beautiful funeral. Thank you. My dear, we finished for today. Now I'll find out what brings Viktor to us. What brings you here? But you were the one who phoned. 
Very funny. Why was she looking at me so oddly? What did you tell her about me? She's never seen a thaumaturge before. I only mentioned to her how we met. Can I help you at all? Have you known them long? No, but Aniela and Lucian are my two good souls. They took me, an impoverished preacher, in under their roof. And I'll never forget that. Are you helping them too? I am a bomb for Aniela's frazzled nerves. But enough of that. Tell me what you need. You look like you've made yourself at home. Are you going to be staying on here for long? No, I'm afraid not. They're kind people, but I've experienced another vision. Though not fully terrifying, it is troubling. Will you tell me about it? Later. What brings you to me? No, I won't bother you. We can talk next time. The Narazinski door is always open to you. Come in. Please, set my hair to rights. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. I don't usually talk to clients. Do you like it? I can't help noticing that you're the most tight-lipped barber I've been to. And even you admit that you rarely talk to clients. Why is that? When I prepare them for their final journey, it's hard to ask for their opinion. So you style the deceased, too? Mostly. They still need to look good. After all, you only get a funeral once in your lifetime. So, what do you think? Do you like it? I'm not sure. Maybe too much pomade? You know it's all the rage now. But that's all right. We'll change it. I'm sorry. I don't usually talk to clients. Do you like it? I'm not sure. Maybe too much pomade? You know it's all the rage now. But that's all right. We'll change it.
I'm sorry. I don't usually talk to clients. Do you like it? Yes, you're talented. Years of practice. My clients are always satisfied.
Am I a magician or what? Well, well. That wasn't too hard.
I haven't been here in a while. What do you want to tell me, friend? I'll be first, you'll see! Slow down, you'll get your clothes all dirty. That kid, it's me. My mother thought I'd lost my mind. So did Liga, I guess. And that, as we know, didn't happen until much later. I didn't remember that Abaurizio was there too. He must have been. After all, he'd laughed at me later for wetting my pants. It was my birthday. Was it then that you chose me? You're not from round here, I can see. Hello. Is this a bad time? It is a bad place, fancy boy. It is for the locals. I got it. I'll see myself out. Can I help you, sir? Are you buying? Pledging? Art, cards, old farts, top coats, key, jewelry. Do you remember Mieszko Setsemin? He was a lone shark around here. And you're asking me because? No reason. Setsemin died a long time ago. They say someone attacked and shot him. Terrible tragedy. Terrible. Even talking about him might bring bad luck. And so, life goes on here in Powiśle. Goodbye.
What do you want to tell me, friend? Victor Hurry will be late for Mass. I'm coming, Mother. Victor, do you think that when you have a husband, you have to argue with him? I suppose so. I don't want a husband. You don't have to get one, but I'm worse off. I remember that. The last Sunday before Father stopped taking us to church. Because of me. I accidentally touched the priest's stone as he passed us with the censer. That was the first time when I felt another person's thoughts, their intentions. I heard the words of someone's confession that the priest was thinking about. It was like they were directed at me. And I didn't fall to the shadow with the rest of the congregation. Mother didn't manage to stop me, and my indiscretion caused the prominent marriage to fall apart. My parents' marriage not long after. What do you want to tell me, friend? You'll put me in an early grave. Duh, because it's always the woman's fault when a man starts getting certain notions. I'm the head of this family and I deserve respect. Father, can Abaurezi come with us to the sea? Out of the question. Holidays are to be spent with family, with loved ones, not with servants. Listen, boy. You'll be the head of this family someday, and you have to understand that family is the one thing you can always rely on. Especially since you're a Tempermancer. Others will rob you, kill you, or even worse, ruin you. You should keep your friends close, but never behind your back. And your enemies you should keep even closer. 
next to your heart, because only then will they not surprise you. Rarely did I see my father so furious. He thought that a trip to the once Polish Baltic Sea would improve his chilly relations with mother. I really didn't want to go. I preferred to play with Abaurice in the streets of Praga. Mom wasn't disappointed that we stayed either. I didn't want to step on father's toes again, so I asked Ligia to make a scene, like she did when Grazinka tried sending her to bed and she wanted to keep reading. I didn't even have to persuade her much. I wondered if it was the power of the twin bond or if I manipulated her subconsciously back then. Now I know I couldn't do it without forming our pact. But if that's the case, what were you doing here? Well, there we have it.
Am I a magician or what? Death did not catch my father by surprise. It seems as if he had been expecting it, just not at that moment. He was practically annoyed about it. There was something he had wanted to finish. And this building, it couldn't have just fallen down like that right as he was going by. Hey, Suski! What? Chicken butt! Tie him up. There you go. Tighter. We took his book. Well done. All right. Let's wake the asshole up. Wakey, wakey. What? What's... Well, come on, Sleeping Beauty. I haven't got all day. Now. Let me get a good look at you. You look rough, fancy boy. This isn't what I was expecting. So that's how you want to play. I've dealt with people like you here before. So is it straight into the Vistula with him? Or should we knock him around a little? Zero imagination, boys. Zero. It would be a shame to lose it, eh? I bet there's lots of valuable information inside. So, what will it be? Shall we talk? I wouldn't do that. When you destroy a grimoire, it sets demons loose. And I have a few particularly nasty ones in there. One will blind you, another will make you die in convulsions. Splashing around in your own shit. The other day I heard the Bullock died like that. That some demon got into his skull and... All right, all right, all right. Maybe I'll let you go. But I'm not handing over the book yet. One thing at a time. But boss, we don't want people in town gossiping that Nyejit is scared of demons. Then keep your fucking trap shut. Nyejit? Your name is Nyejit? Well, there it is. All gone to shit. Cheers, Victor. What kind of a sick idea is this? Kidnapping me? It's a joke! You don't find it funny? No. What does it feel like to have your life depend on me? Not the best. Listen, I understand you hold some resentment within yourself over what happened, but I can't change the past. Well, yes. But shit! You told me to wait for help, and instead the boys in blue showed up, and you washed your hands of it, and left my pop to rot in prison. At least admit that you acted like a dick. I admit that it was a shitty move on my father's part. Your father's? Well, look at this weasel. Straight to whitewashing the past. Like father, like son, eh? My father's karma came back to bite him. A horrible death in return for the kind of man he was. I'm sure you heard. Well, admittedly, nothing's but a spring in my step in a long while, like hearing that Shulski met his end as sludge on the sidewalk. They say the devil doesn't take the wicked, but for your old man, he made an exception. Now that he's dead, let's put the past behind us. There'd be no reason to talk if you hadn't pinched Papa's gut back then. Victor, it kills me that we pulled the trigger together. Together! You did? Where's that rat? What the fuck? Boss, it's the Cossacks again. 
Come here, coward. Looks like you've got a chance for redemption. Let's show these dickheads you don't mess with the shivs. I'll take a look around. You guys again. You shitheads better have a good excuse, because I was right in the middle of an incredibly important meeting. It was fate that decided. We flipped a coin, and it turns out that today, we're practicing our boxing on you. Some... Feathers? Feet? I know you. You're... I can't remember now. Fucked up, but today you'll regret it. Today I've got the Demon Master on my side. Show these cretins, Victor. <laughs> you never let me down. This is the best way to start an evening, at Nyejit's bar.
If we're to have fun, let's do it right. A round for everyone. <laughs> Old friendships never die, right? Here, Polish, pure, the mother of all libations. Enjoy it! Who knows what piss you've been drinking abroad. So, are we quits? I helped you out. Now, can we forget all that ancient history? Don't be so sly, Victor. We're not squared up. Yet. That burns nicely. My knuckles are itching. Let's go somewhere and pick a fight. Good riddance. Well, what do you say, Victor? Returning to the subject of the past. Fuck the past. We're in the here and now. Let's enjoy the moment. Cheers. You don't want to talk about it? I thought that was why you kidnapped me. I've changed my mind already. You better tell me what you're poking around my bar for. Give me a minute. I want to get a closer look at something. No way. You're going to keep me company. What, you have something better to do? Hunting the saviour that was somewhere in here. What the fuck? Who brought a demon into my joint? I'll give him... Although, hang on now. A demon is a good publicity. Hey, everybody! From this day forth, the London bar will be known as... The demon's dead! Go and tell everybody that here is the only place you can do shots in the devil's company. Listen, you keep on thinking about how you can develop your business, and I'm going to take a look around and come right back. Go! I'm going to wet my whistle and see how you do your hocus pocus. If you need something, I'm here, and I'll give you a hand. Secrets, not on my watch. That giant bird must enjoy it, and I'm sure it also stirs up the chaos. Victor, time for penalty drinks. Feathers, a beak, those eyes. Who are you? I can't focus. Don't make me come over there! Do I know someone with mood swings, a tendency for bravado, and a weakness for booze?
Have you nosed around my humble little hole in the wall? What's the word? Tell me something more about these Cossacks. They roam around different bars picking fights as soon as they get leave from the Citadel. Sometimes we pummel each other and things continue as usual. Well, well. How did you get your hands in all this? I worked my ass off for years. I found myself in shitty positions. Sometimes I had to make people disappear. Pop wouldn't have been proud of me. Maybe it's a good thing he didn't live to see it. But then I'd have to kill you. What's stopping you? You had me tied up in the chair. Well, I sure did. Maybe the thought even crossed my mind. But I decided to give you a chance. Witness the kindness within my heart. Tell me, what else is going on? I've had a look around and something's caught my attention. I think they might have something to do with the Saluta. Well then, shoot! A bucket of dirty water and a blood-soaked rag. Whose blood is this? As if I remember everybody who's bled on the floor here. Every day we've got to clean up after somebody. Is that everything or have you found anything else? Did anybody die from this bullet that got stuck in the post? Bullets fly every which way here. That's the atmosphere. Was someone killed? Probably, but that's not very unusual. Look how helpful I am. Keep going. Who smashed your window? How long it's been? Uh, two days, I think. This one Russian bigwig was really fucking irritating me, so I politely asked him to leave. What else can I help you with? Tell me. Uh, I'm at your service. You like to go wild here, huh? Are you often the one who gets the old crazy ball rolling? You know I used to have a puppy. This little fluff ball was hanging out under the bar. I have a heart, Victor. I have a big heart. Not like those morons over there. To Cossacks, a game without a corpse is no game at all. For me, knocking out teeth, breaking hands, I'll take it. A stiff spoils the mood a bit. That's my opinion. What happened to the puppy? He was called Romeo. Uh, he fell in love. One day he packed his bag and uh, ran off with that bitch. I'm sure he uh, started a family. He's raising his puppies and reminiscing. Yeah. My brave little guy. Uh, but what were we talking about? You get a lot of stiffs here then? Where my corpse here lieth down. Something, something looketh around. What do you call a lot? Th three a month on average, I'd say. Danis, that Cossack with a dick where his head should be, pulled out his revolver one day and wanted to play Russian roulette. Only with his revolver. But fuck it. I'm not handing my head over so easily to a butcher like that. Well, then I'll ask you. Is he an idiot or what? I have to gather my thoughts. Go ahead, go ahead. I have to... Gather myself a little, too. Lelek. What the hell did you say, Victor? You're out of your goddamn mind. The Salutor's name's Lelek. Well, yes, the beak, the feathers, the trill. He loves the smell of death, and he enjoys risk and foolishness, which he also fuels. So let's go get Lelek. Yeah, come on. Where about it is, Lela could be as well. Maybe his flaw is speaking for him. Whoever's with us is with us, and whoever's against us, fuck him. Come on, I'll show you places even the philosophers never dreamed of. Maybe your demon will be drinking vodka somewhere there too.
Take a deep breath. That's the smell of Warsaw nightlife. Smell it, Victor. Relish it. A bouquet of sweat, shit, and puke. And piss, thanks. But it's Warsaw's piss and puke, interwoven with the aroma of steadfastness and heroism. Come on, you'll see the true face of Abauritz and Niedzic. And maybe you'll even find what you're looking for here. Welcome to my world. Meaning what? That they've got a guy tied up in the back here too, and they're about to threaten to drown him in the Vistula? I see the positive mood of the neighborhood has infected you. Wonderful. But you guessed wrong, friend. Here, well, magic happens here. Thought is transformed into word to penetrate the material and infuse the universe with tender. All right, let's drink, shall we? A double barrel each, please. People come here to tickle their palates with exquisite libations. Let's do a milk of 83. You're not messing around. After years of begging and eating scraps off aristocratic tables, I'm not messing around. You come here to get some fresh air away from the underworld? I come here so I don't forget who I am. A poet. You've always had a silver tongue. <laughs> don't I know it? Add to that a despicable past, and you've got all the ingredients for a poet. Now, why are we sitting here instead of at your bar? My lads, bless them. Set me up a poetry reading once, but they're simple folk. They don't understand this, poesy. They laughed when they should have cried. Cried when their hearts should have flooded with anger. I don't hold it against them. My bar trades on its reputation as a dive. That's how you make the most money. So what's actually been going on with you over the last 15 years? My father ended up behind bars. And as for me, the streets took me in, taught me life. I roamed around, got odd jobs. And when I was hard up, I went begging. I've got a tough skin on me, Victor, but the embers of poetry still smolder in my heart. Well, in time, I gained a new family. My shivs. We were supposed to go to high school together, maybe to university after that. Everything would have gone differently if only. We did the world a favor by fucking over that loan shark. One way or the other, Pop's debts would have landed me on the streets. If I hadn't told you about it, you wouldn't have hit on your brilliant idea. I'll sort him out 
with my salader, you kept saying. You were too unskilled at that magic business of yours, eh? The gun is reliable and evocative. I thought a thaumaturge kid wouldn't make as big an impression as a kid with a pistol. And all in all, you were right. It's just a shame we used the gun. I trusted my father to help us, but he only told me not to interfere. He swore he'd sort it out. All right, there's no need to waste your damn breath. He's gone, and we're here. What is your plan? Would you rather the name Nyejits make people talk about the king of the underworld, or a great poet? The poetic king of the underworld. Anyway, they already say that. The Shivs think of me as a bard, and the competition says so too. And since I've got them all by short hairs, they respect me, even though they can't string two proper sentences together. I've got a gift, Victor. I can't complain about a lack of talent. Listen, I'm going to be honest with you. I think Lelek is attached to you. A demon following me around? Bullshit. There are a lot of indications. Your personality, the things you do, and stuff like that. I'd rather not have anyone sharing my head with me. Can you do something about it? I see it like this. You've always had some seed of madness inside you, but I don't think you've ever been so fucked up. Beg pardon? I found your poem. Did you write it in your own blood or that of one of your victims? Victims? The hell are you talking about? Of course it was mine. I sliced my veins open for art. That's how committed I am. More like desperate. No true poet needs to resort to gimmicks. He just needs ink, and the world will hear him. Shit. One more word, and I'll forget about our friendship. There's nothing to forget. Our friendship is just a figment of your sick imagination. Stab me in the heart. It'll hurt less. I know now that you're not the one Lelik is following. You see? Even the devil can't touch me. He's come knocking a few times, but we've never managed to strike a deal. And you'd surely be the perfect candidate for him, but only seemingly. So what? Should we continue our search? Oh, Victor, lad, how that we tickles me. Come on, of course we're continuing. We have to find that little brat of yours. What? You give up, you piece of shit? Do you see what I see? I see two morons wrestling with a lamppost. How are you fellas doing? Who's winning? It's a colossus. Looking down its nose. Arrogant piece of... 
I swear it called us sons of bitches. Well, that would piss anyone off. As I look at it and then at you, I've got to admit, the lamppost is right. That what? That you're a pair of sons of bitches, that's what. You're taking the enemy's side? Suit yourself. We're not giving in. Productive night. The more brawling, the better. Please visit us again. Time to keep an eye out for Dennis. He was injured in the fight with the Colossus and got lost. I think. Maybe the Ataman ended up at the Lockstock. Where? The Lock, Stock, and Barrel. This Ruski bar up the stairs here. Competition. The night's still young. There's excitement ahead. Let's follow them. Since I haven't yet found Lelik, that could be just where he is. Private party tonight, no riffraff. Cheers, Ivan, my friend. Mr. Nyejits, well, I've got clear instructions. Don't be silly. It's a beautiful night out. Rare when we see stars over Warsaw. But now look. One, two. If you count them all, you'll know the extent of my gratitude. Well, all right, go on in. I'm fond of you, Mr. Ndjajits. I'm just doing my job. You see? 
That's respect. This is what they call a private party? What is this, awake? Good thing we showed up. Double barrel for me. Actually, make that too. Look at her, all over him. I'd know how to make the most of being so popular. What do you want? Did I hear you talking about Danis? Danis and babes. He talks a lot, makes a big fuss around himself, but when push comes to shove, he leaves them hanging. So them babes must like him. Yeah, nothing for us to do except drink and enjoy one another's company. You seem thick as thieves. Have you known each other long? Since we were kids. We're all from the Don Host Oblast. Under Danis, we've traveled far and wide with the Russians. Danis is your commander? Da, Ataman. You know Danis pretty well, right? Yeah, what about it? I take a professional interest in guys like him. Yeah. You think I can ask you guys a couple of questions? Let's see what you're after, wizard. Danis had a fiancé, but she dumped him. How come? You know, he keeps his feelings to himself. But it hurt him. That's what I think. Maybe she got sick of waiting. She had her pick of men in the village. And is that what made Danish so devil-may-care? A broken heart? Sure. What would it be otherwise? Who is Pasha? Our buddy, from the same village as us, out past the Don River. We went through a lot together. Pasha's dead. Leave it at that. What actually happened to him? We all stick close together, but when you're drunk, you get some weird ideas. That damned Shashka of Pasha's was a spoil of war. One time, Danis and Pasha got tanked and started playing Russian roulette for it. So, Danis clearly won. But that little saber of Pasha's doesn't make him feel triumph, more like love and concern. He really looks after it. I've heard Danis likes playing Russian roulette. He's such a bonehead. He never thinks about the trouble he'll get himself into. You better watch your head when he's around. Who'd have thought that Danis was such a sensitive soul? Does he play the balalaika a lot? Lately, he's been singing either about the Grim Reaper and Hellfire or rolling in the hay. 
You can keep up with him. He goes too heavy on the tearjerkers for my taste. Any more questions? You know what I think? You're not being straight with me. What? I think Pasha and Danis were more than comrades in arms and blood brothers. On top of that, I think that's why Danis' fiancé dumped him. People from your village kept giving her crap. The fuck are you talking about? They were blood brothers, that's all. You'd love to find a buddy like that, someone for better and for worse. Calm down, I can see your faithful friends. I'd better go take a drag of also air. If you like breathing through a straight nose, don't try any funny business. Come on, don't make me back. I'll fix up your head for no extra fee. I'm in no hurry to go upstairs. I feel like a game. You up for one? Me? Forget it. I have gorgeous hands. Everyone says so. You're not gonna carve them up with that shank. What? You eavesdropping magician? Lock, stock and barrel? Or the London bar? The Demon's Den! You're taking a fucking survey? Are you spying for Nijits? Sheer curiosity. I work for nobody. I'm the one in charge of... Devils, I know, I know. Get out of here, I can't stand the sight of you. I found something that belongs to you. A letter. Is... Hand that over. If you read it, you'll regret it. It's private. Easy now, I just wanted to talk. We don't have anything to talk about. Leave me alone. Don't mind me. I'm already going. Danis doesn't think about what he's doing, and he doesn't care about the consequences, as if it's all in the name of fun. He couldn't cope with his broken heart, so he started tumbling further and further into the depths of chaos. It seems like Pasha was more to him than just a comrade and close friend. His death hit Danis like a train. 
Since then, his life's been nothing but irrational behavior and risk-taking. He's thumbing his nose at death. I think I'll accept the challenge. Time to figure out his flaw and catch Lelek. I wonder if he'll play Russian roulette with me. What you sniffing around for again? You're sitting there so quietly. How about a little game? You play Russian roulette here, lads? Or are you too soft? Ha! Think you're harder than me? I eat Russian roulette for breakfast. Let's play. Did someone say Russian roulette? Show us what a tough guy you are, pretty boy. Six chambers, one bullet. Ready to start? Wait, Victor. Let's play with mine. Yours will do too. It would be more interesting that way. Does this remind you of anything? My turn. It was nice knowing you guys. And you, Victor. If fate so ordains, we'll speak in hell. Well, four more. Ah! We're starting round two. Is that how it was with Pasha? Do you wonder if you're going to wipe the remains of my brain of your face? Shut your trap! What? You shit in your pants? Gods of chaos, watch over me. That's the end. We know what's waiting in the cylinder. You brave enough to cross even that final boundary? Enough, gentlemen. Uh, we were kidding around. Danis, there's nothing in there. I didn't load it. Pasha ran out of luck and lost his shashka, right? You're lying, Nijits. You're all lying. You think I'm scared of death? The sight of me makes the Grim Reaper quake in his boots. Well, go ahead. Watch carefully. Is that lovely song for me? Don't stop. I'm enjoying listening.
Enough of losing. Rasputin will tame you. Bullets have no effect on me. The end will never come. What are you talking about, Dennis? Let's get to drinking. The night's still young. You don't understand. None of you. Leave me alone. I don't want to hear another word. Get out! Shut it, Selim. Or I'll find a loaded piece and shoot you dead. Give me a second. To get my thoughts together. I have to. Let yourself feel the pain that's consuming you. You need it. Pasha, I'm sorry. I haven't mourned you. Danis, pull yourself together. Come on! No, Selim, I have to. You too as well. Forgive me. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Don't say anything. No words are necessary. 
Seems to me we should drink a toast to the dead. Dennis, we are your brothers forever, till the day we die! Come on, let's leave these scoundrels alone. We've got stuff to talk about. What a poetic experience. I can feel it in my bones, as if I were part of something grand, you know? You carry an unloaded revolver? Anybody can pull a trigger. I use it to smash heads. And balls. But tell me, did you catch the little sprat? Yeah, I did. But it wasn't easy. It still isn't. Was it worth it? I don't know. At least now it won't be Lelek deciding Danis's fate. And that's always a good thing. Anything that lets you sleep at night, friend. Forget sleep. Now I need hypnosis. Thanks for today, about it. Oh no, hold on now. The night will end when I say so. Come here. What do I care? Lead the way. Well, yeah, I get that. At the end of the day, what heals the body and soul better than a double vodka, eh? Four. To us, to you, to vodka. <laughs> sure, your demon, Victor. <laughs> Just not on my shoes. Victor, Victor, boy. Maybe you aren't at all such a prick as Sataniswaf was. <laughs> 99 bottles standing on the wall. Hey! Well, hello, Sleeping Beauty. My head's about to explode. What the hell are we doing in front of my house? The front steps got the better of you. But, Victor, to hell with that. What a night we had. Admit it. If you're looking for fun, do it with Njejits. Well, I admit, it was quite, quite... Quite schmite. It was spectacular, and we both know it. We'd better get away from here, if Ligia finds us. Ligia! And by what fault do your eyes burn red, hot, while your mouth is like honey? You trust over much in my virtue? I see you're looking after our good name, brother. Forgive me. It won't happen again. It won't. I'll make sure of that. I can assure you, my darling sister, that next time I'll make it all the way to the door. Can you make it home from here, or do you need a hand? But, but, those five rubles, remember? Five? What the hell do I owe you that much for? My dear friend, I can't answer that question in the company of a lady. Water whores aren't that expensive. You two got bilked. Victor? With each word, I find your sister more and more impressive. One way or another, 
I wouldn't like to have you as a creditor. This is a bit awkward, but... Well, spit it out. A full sentence, please. My beloved sister, could you please, on my behalf, give some money to Abauritsi? Here. From now on, you can cover your own tabs. Maybe you'll even start paying for your own telegrams. And now, pardon me, but I have things to do in life. Once you've dragged yourself home, brother, I'd like a word with you. All right, don't worry about it now. We'll have a chance to meet up. Next time, you're buying. Next time? <laughs> so you think I'm done with you? One night like this is too little for us to be squared up. I know not why others stare, lest it's at our drinking fair. I need to see Rasputin. <laughs>